Welcome back to the toy room. It's good to see you again. Today we're going to play around with one of my favorite toy memories, Remco's Bulldog Tank. Bulldog Tank is sitting here on a table. We're going to just have to ask Sailor Joe to let go of it so we can take it out and take a closer look at it. I believe it was Christmas morning, 1964, when my younger brother Tom and I each received a Remco Bulldog Tank as a Christmas gift. My oldest brother Bill had a paper route and he used some of his money to buy his younger brothers a Christmas present. Of course, in addition to the bulldog tank, Tom also got himself a brand new car. He was very spoiled. This is not my original bulldog tank. Uh, the original may be down in the basement, but it's missing its barrel and it's not in very good shape. So this one's in pretty good shape. It still has its original flag. And it's pretty rare to have it with all the bullets. This one has seven out of the eight bullets and it has most of the shell casing so that's pretty good and uh, one of the things that the tank does is it of course moves and it has two levers in the back here and if you push this one forward it goes forward and then if you push it back it goes backwards and then the other lever is for firing and we'll get into that a little bit later Another interesting thing was the tank that my brother and I had had a Monkey Division logo here and that was a symbol used for a line of Ramco toys. The way that you load the firing mechanism, here's a, here's a little cartridge here that's in the turret of the tank and then here's the, the plastic bullets with the shell casings and it loads up to, you can load up to four, four rounds in this chamber here and a lot of times these uh, plastic bullets here, here, let me see if I can grab one here, it would lose the end of it here and that, that would break off and we tried to glue that sometimes but uh, th that was a problem. A lot of toys from the 60's required batteries and many a child's imagination was powered by the likes of the Ever Ready and Rayovac batteries of the 1960's. I came to have this particular bulldog tank because many years ago, at a time before I had a computer, they had newspapers with advertisements for toys and they used to have phone auctions where you could call up and place a bid on a particular toy and then if you were the highest bidder at, at the end, then you would get that toy. So I won the uh, phone auction for this toy and what was nice about this, it, it also had a box and I'll show you that. This is the box for the Bulldog Tank. Of course, I don't remember the one that we had when I was a kid. It may have been a plain box, but I, I don't recall ever even seeing it. So, and this one's not in very good shape, but it's pretty rare to have a box in any condition for this particular thing. And I'll just turn it around so you can see. There's some tape on there. So it's, this gives some instructions on how to put on the, the barrel of the tank and then to load the, sh load the shells in there and to move it forward and backward. So... There it is, the Bulldog Tank Box. Now, don't get too excited about the operation of this tank. This tank is nearly 50 years old. And like a lot of us that are in that age range, it just doesn't have as much power as it used to. In this little demonstration, we see the Bulldog Tank going over an obstacle. And it comes up to it, and it's going over it. sees a couple Germans in its path so it's gonna gonna take some time to get over that and there it goes the flags waving around heads on over goes down <laughs> and it uh, oh crushes anything in its path apparently Watch out, Pip. It's coming at you. The bulldog tank's after you, Pip. Watch out, Pip. Yep, you better stand down. Of course, it's always fun to set up some army men and take some pot shots at some Germans. So, there you go. Of course, there's plenty left, so we'll take another go at that. We'll see if we can finish off those miserable crowds. 
Got him! All right. I want to thank you for making another visit to the toy room. And I hope you enjoyed riding along with the crew of the Bulldog Tink. So until next time, so long from the toy room. Good day and good night.